क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी वन दिस इज द क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टेक्नोलॉजीज एल टी ई एंड वी ओ एल टी ई फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज दैट एल टी ई इज अ थ्री जी टेक्नोलॉजी दिस स्टेटमेंट इज रॉन्ग ये हमारी फरवरी 2019 की करंट अफेयर्स की बुक है पेज नंबर 50। देर इज अ फुल न्यूज ऑन एल टी ई टेक्नोलॉजी एयरटेल इंट्रोड्यूस्ड एल टी ई टेक्नोलॉजी इन मुंबई एल टी ई इज अ बेसिकली फोर जी टेक्नोलॉजी सो इट इज नॉट थ्री जी इट इज फोर जी टेक्नोलॉजी दिस स्टेटमेंट इज रॉन्ग नो सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट दैट वोल्ट इज वॉइस ओनली टेक्नोलॉजी दिस स्टेटमेंट इज रॉन्ग ये हमारी टेस्ट सीरीज है 2019 की कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव टेस्ट नंबर एट क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फोर 2019 की टेस्ट सीरीज कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव टेस्ट नंबर एट क्वेश्चन नंबर 34 इज रिलेटेड टू दिस वी ओ एल टी ई टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इन द आंसर एंड एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन आंसर ऑफ क्वेश्चन 34 that volt has three times more voice and data capacity so it has both voice and data the statement that it is only voice is wrong so d is the answer question is solved question number 72 this is the question consider the following statements first statement is that most of the india's external debt is owned by the government entities this statement is wrong ye hamari july 2018 ki current affairs ki book hai page number 29 here it is clearly written india's external debt stood at this much figure primarily on the account of a rise in the commercial borrowings short term debt and non resident indian deposits so that it is only the owned by the government entities this statement is wrong now the second statement that all of the india's external debt is denominated in the us dollars this statement is also wrong in the same news you can see that the rise in the external debt was partially due to the valuation loss resulting from the depreciation of the us dollar against major currencies so it is not only the dollar but all other major currencies of the world so this statement is also wrong d is the answer question is solved question number 73 this is the question with reference to the india's five year plans which of the following statements are correct statement number 1 is that from the second five year plan there was a determined thrust towards the substitution of basic and capital good industries this statement is wrong ye hamari indian economy ki book hai general studies course ki page number 90 chapter is planning in india second five year plan second five year plan focused on industry especially heavy industry so it focused on heavy industry not on the basic and capital good industry so this statement is wrong now exclude these options 
Similarly, the second statement, the fourth five-year plan adopted the objective of correcting the earlier trend of increased concentration of wealth and economic power. Fourth five-year plan. During the fourth five-year plan, the Indira Gandhi government nationalized 14 major Indian banks. So the statement that the objective was to correct the earlier trend of increased concentration of wealth is correct because the government has nationalized the 14 banks. So second is correct and the third that the fifth five year plan for the first time the financial sector was included as an integral part of the plan. In the fifth plan, there is no such thing. So statements, third is also wrong. Only second is correct. B is the answer. Question is solved. Question number 74. This is the question. Consider the following statements. A digital signature is an electronic record that identifies the certifying authority issuing it. This statement is correct. This is our Indian Economy Volume 3 hai, General Studies course ki, page number 96 2019 prelims exam ki book Controller of Certifying Authorities CCA issues licenses to certifying authorities for issue of digital signature certificates. CCA certifies all the keys of CAs. So the statement one is correct. Second statement that a digital signature is used to serve as a proof of identity of an individual to access the information on the server or internet. This statement is also correct. This is our June 2017 ki current affairs ki book, hai, page number 136. There is a news online software for departmental proceedings launched. All the documents required for the conduct of inquiry will be stored online and authenticated through digital signature. So this statement is also correct. Statement third that an electronic method of signing an electronic document and ensuring that the original content is unchanged. This statement is also correct. This is our December 2016 ki current affairs ki book, hai, page number 117. Online filling of immovable property return launched. For filing IPR online, the officer will have the option to digitally sign the return available on the module through digital signature certificate or e-sign so digital signature is an electronic method of signing an electronic document this statement is also correct all three statements one two three is correct d is the answer question is solved question number 75 This is the question.
कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज दैट इन ऑजोमेटेड रियलिटी अ सिमुलेटेड इन्वायरमेंट इज क्रिएटेड दिस स्टेटमेंट इज रॉन्ग बिकॉज इट इज नॉट द ऑजोमेटेड रियलिटी बट इट इज अ वर्चुअल रियलिटी इन विच द सिमुलेटेड इन्वायरमेंट इज क्रिएटेड ये हमारी जनरल स्टडीज कोर्स की साइंस की बुक है पेज नंबर 155 2019 टू के लिए द टॉपिक वर्चुअल रियलिटी इज एक्सप्लेन कंप्यूटर सिमुलेटेड एनवायरनमेंट इज क्रिएटेड इन वर्चुअल रियलिटी सो दिस स्टेटमेंट इज रॉन्ग नाउ एक्सक्लूड द ऑप्शंस we have left with only 2 3 and 4 4 only now take the third statement augmented reality allows individuals to be present in the world and improves the experience using the camera of a smartphone this statement is correct ye hamari july 2016 ki book hai page number 139 there was a news go pokemon go it was a android game in the news pokemon go it was a free for all augmented reality game augmented reality game on android using the camera of a smartphone so third statement is correct so B option three and four. Now check the fourth also. That virtual reality closes the world, transposes an individual, providing complete immersion experience. ये हमारी साइंस की बुक है अगेन. सेम पेज नंबर वन फिफ्टी फाइव. Virtual reality is completely explained. virtual reality is often used to describe a wide variety of applications commonly associated with immersive highly usual 3d environments so statement fourth is also correct 3 and 4 is correct b is the answer question is solved question number 76 this is the question in the context of wearable technology which of the tasks are done by the wearable devices this is a very straightforward question first option is location identification of a person ye hamari june 2018 ki current affairs ki book hai page number 84 we have explained all these things in this topic internet of many things wearable devices with sensors and software can collect and analyze user data sending messages to other technologies about the users with the aim of making users life easier more comfortable wearable devices are also used for public safety providing optimized route to a location so this statement is correct one is correct 2 and 3 is also correct this is a very straight forward question in healthcare internet of things including wearable devices they offer many benefits including the ability to monitor patients this whole topic is about this technology so about patient hearing impaired person or patient sleep monitoring of a person 
दिस इज करेक्ट ये हमारी अगस्त 2017 की करंट अफेयर्स की बुक है पेज नंबर 122 There was the news. Raj Lakshmi researched epilepsy for more than three years and developed a simple wearable device, a smart globe that can predict the epileptic seizures. December two thousand seventeen current affairs book, page number eighty two. National Health Policy 2017. The policy recognizes the integral role of the technology, e-health, m-health, Internet of Things, wearables, etc., in the healthcare delivery. So, location, sleep monitoring, assisting the patients, hearing impaired. All these options are correct. D is the answer. Question is solved. Question number seventy-seven. This is the question. Consider the following statements. First is purchasing power parity exchange rates are calculated by comparing the prices of the same basket of goods in different countries. This statement is correct. ये हमारी जनरल स्टडीज कोर्स की इंडियन इकोनॉमी की बुक है पेज नंबर 164 वॉल्यूम वन परचेजिंग पावर पैरिटी कंसेप्ट इन विच द डॉलर इक्वलेंट विल परचेज द सेम मंडल ऑफ गुड्स इन ऑल इकोनॉमीज और इन डिफरेंट कंट्रीज तो स्टेटमेंट फर्स्ट इज करेक्ट सेकंड स्टेटमेंट इज दैट इन टर्म्स ऑफ पीपीपी dollars india is the sixth largest economy in the world this statement is also correct ye hamari january 2019 ki current affairs ki book hai page number 51 there was a news india likely to surpass uk in the world's largest economy and in this according to the world bank data india became the world's sixth largest economy in 2017 surpassing france so this statement is also correct official world bank data so both statements are correct c is the answer question is solved question number 78 This is the question. Which one of the following is not the measure that RBI takes to stop the slide of Indian rupee? Which of the following is not likely the measure? So curbing imports. This is correct. ये हमारी September two thousand eighteen की current affairs की book है page number sixteen. There was a news measures for rupee strengthening. Import curb on non-essential items. So curbing imports of non-essential goods. Second is encouraging Indian borrowers to rupee to issue rupee masala bonds. No withholding tax on masala bonds issued during the current fiscal. Removal of restrictions. on masala bonds so this is also correct easing conditions relating to the external commercial borrowing this is also correct second point is that removal of exposure limit of 20% of the foreign portfolio investors corporate bond portfolio to a single corporate group group so removal of the limit on foreign portfolio investment so third is also correct this statement is wrong d is the answer question is solved question number 
दिस इज द क्वेश्चन विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ग्रुप्स ऑफ प्लांट्स वॉज डोमेस्टिकेटेड इन द न्यू वर्ल्ड एंड इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन टू द ओल्ड वर्ल्ड सो लेट्स फर्स्ट नो वट इज दिस न्यू वर्ल्ड एंड वट इज दिस ओल्ड वर्ल्ड ये हमारी जनरल स्टडीज कोर्स की ज्योग्राफी की बुक है पेज नंबर 145 फोर्टी फाइव देर इज ए चैप्टर ऑन साउथ अमेरिका दिस कॉन्टिनेंट इज ऑल्सो रेफर्ड एज न्यू वर्ल्ड सो साउथ अमेरिका इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड न्यू वर्ल्ड ये हमारी इंडियन हिस्ट्री की बुक है पेज नंबर टू द इंडस वैली सिविलाइजेशन अलोंग विद द एंशियंट इजिप्ट मैसोपोटामिया इंडस वैली सिविलाइजेशन वाज वन ऑफ द थ्री अर्ली सिविलाइजेशन ऑफ द ओल्ड वर्ल्ड so old world it includes europe and asia ancient egypt mesopotamia and indus valley civilization so europe and asia comes in old world south america comes in new world now see the options ये हमारी जनरल स्टडीज कोर्स की ज्योग्राफी की बुक है पेज नंबर 146 अबाउट द ब्राजील कॉफी ब्राजील इज द लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर एंड एंड एक्सपोर्टर इट वाज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाय द पुर्तगीज कॉफी वाज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन द ब्राजील बाय पुर्तगीज फ्रॉम पुर्तगाल पुर्तगाल इज इन यूरोप दैट इज इन ओल्ड वर्ल्ड so remove these options now we have two options now take the cotton one ye hamari indian culture ki book hai page number 50 about the cotton cotton was known known to the harappans nearly 5 million acres years ago 5 million years ago trade of painted printed cottons extensively practiced in india china java philippines so cotton is the original commodity of old world that is asia so cotton cannot be a commodity that is introduced in old world by the new world coffee is not the option cotton is not the option a has remained so a is the answer question is solved question number 80 this is the question consider the following statements the environment protection act 1986 empowers the government to state the requirement of public participation in the process of environmental protection this statement is wrong because nowhere in the act it says about the public participation so this statement is wrong and the second statement that environment protection act 1986 it lay down the standards for emission of discharge 
of environmental pollutants from various sources. This statement is correct. ये हमारी जनरल स्टडीज कोर्स की इन्वायरमेंट की बुक है पेज नंबर 157 इन्वायरमेंट लेजिस्लेशन इन इंडिया इन्वायरमेंट प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट 1986 इट ऑथराइजेस द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट टू टेक मेजर्स इन्वायरमेंट प्रोटेक्शन रूल्स ऑफ 1986 इट लेज डाउन द प्रोसीजर फॉर सेटिंग स्टैंडर्ड और एमिशन और डिस्चार्ज ऑफ इन्वायरमेंट पॉल्यूटेंट्स सो सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट इज राइट टू इज करेक्ट बी इज द आंसर क्वेश्चन इज सॉल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर एट्टी वन दिस इज द क्वेश्चन The money multiplier in an economy increases with which one of the following? Basically, money multiplier is an money expansion in an economy, and this activity took place when the banks they give more loans and credit to the businessmen and the entrepreneurs. They start new economic activity, and as a result. the money is multiplied in an economy now see the options increase in the cash reserve ratio this is wrong because it reduces the bank's ability to give more loans similarly increase in the slr it also reduces the bank's ability to give more loans to the public increase is pop increase in the population is also not the answer because of money or the resources they are limited and increase in the population puts more burden on it answer is b that increase in the banking habit of the population because when the public they keep their money in the banks the banks ability to lend increases as a result the more economic activity took place and the money is multiplied and the money multiplied in an economy increases ye hamari indian economy ki book hai general studies course ki page number 14 slr higher liquidity ratio forces commercial banks to maintain a larger proportion of their resources in liquid form thus reduces their capacity to grant loans and advances so c is not the answer in the same book page number 10 indian economy cash reserve ratio when the crr is raised it reduces the lending capacity of the commercial banks consequently flow of money from the commercial bank to the public decreases so this is also not the answer increase in the population it puts more burden on the resources or money this is not the answer so b is the answer question is solved number 82 this is the question with reference to the recent developments in science which one of the following statement is not correct the first statement is that functional chromosomes can be created by joining segments of dna taken from the cells of different species this statement is wrong now take the second statement that pieces of artificial functional dna can be created in laboratories this statement is correct similarly A statement C that a piece of DNA taken out from an animal cell can be made to replicate outside a living cell in a laboratory. This is also correct. B and C, they are basically a genetic engineering. ये हमारी जनरल स्टडीज कोर्स की साइंस की बुक है. Page number seven. In this para, 
both B and C points are clearly explained. The breakage of DNA molecule at a desired place to isolate a specific DNA segment and then insert it in another DNA molecule at a desired position to obtain a recombinant DNA. This technique is also called genetic engineering. Useful as genes can be isolated, cloned. So all this B and C point, they are fully explained in this. Now take the fourth statement that cells taken out from the plants and animals can be made to undergo cell division in laboratory. This statement is also correct. Basically, it is a gene culture, a cell culture. In the same book, Science, page number 5, in this para, this point is explained. Cell culture. It is a process by which plant cells and animal cells, they are grown under the control conditions. So, complete explanation of the point D. D is correct, C is correct, B is correct. First statement is wrong. A is the answer, question is solved. Question number 83. This is the question. Among the agriculture commodities imported by India, which one of the following accounts for the highest imports? in terms of value in the last five years answer is vegetable oils import of vegetable oils ye pichle char paanch saal se news mein raha hai ye hamari august 2015 ki current affairs ki book hai page number 41 Page number 41, August 2015, ki current affairs ki book. India, one of the largest consumers of edible oil, imports about 10 million tons of edible oil per annum. It meets about 60% of its vegetable oil demand through imports. ये हमारी जून 2018 की करंट अफेयर्स की बुक है पेज नंबर 25 दिस वाज अ न्यूज़ द सेंटर हैज हाइक द इंपोर्ट ड्यूटी ऑन एडिबल ऑयल्स which is aimed at curbing cheaper imports. So, ye topic news mein reh raha hai. Ye hamari July 2017 ki current affairs ki book hai. Page number 13. There was a news. India's edible oil imports. India is the world's biggest palm and soybean oil importer, now relies on import of 70% of its edible oil. Bar bar ye topic news mein reh raha hai. Ye hamari May 2018 ki current affairs ki book hai. Page number 7. Government has formed a national mission on oil seeds and oil palm. It aims to augment the availability of vegetable oils and to reduce the import of edible oils. So time and again, import of vegetable oil was in the news. Therefore, D is the answer. Question is solved. Question number 84. This is the question. 
दिस क्वेश्चन इज विद रिगार्ड टू द इंडस्ट्रियल एम्प्लॉयमेंट स्टैंडिंग ऑर्डर रूल्स 2018 ये हमारी पी बुकलेट है 2019 प्रीलिम्स के लिए बुकलेट ऑन गवर्नमेंट इनिशिएटिव एंड प्रोग्राम्स इसके पेज नंबर 125 पे दिस ऑर्डर इज कंप्लीटली एक्सप्लेन पेज नंबर 125 फिक्स टर्म एम्प्लॉयमेंट Industrial Employment Standing Order 1946. It has included the category of Fixed Term Employment Workmen. Now read the first statement. That if these rules are implemented, it becomes easier for the firms companies to lay off the workers. The statement is correct. The objective of this fixed term employment. is to provide flexibility to the employers to meet the challenges of globalization and new practices and new methods of doing business so this statement is correct second statement that no notice of termination of employment is necessary in case of a temporary workman this statement is also correct in the same order fixed term employment workmen this would decrease the exploitation of the contract workers as employer would directly hire the worker without any contract so therefore no notice of termination of employment is necessary in case of a temporary workman so this is clear from this order both statements are correct C is the answer. Question is solved.